This is actually insane. There is a legitimate free Quest Games optimizer available through SideQuest. No PC needed for setup. Here you get to augment your resolution, overclock your GPU and CPU, and get your refresh rate boosted to 120 Hz. Seriously, why is this not like widely known for all Quest users? You just download it and set it up through SideQuest, and yeah. So let's get on to it. You will need SideQuest to install this app. If you need SideQuest, click on the link in the description to view my No PC SideQuest guide. Oh, and I'm gonna throw a quick disclaimer in there. This will supercharge your quest to the max settings. If you choose to do so, Bearsky VR will not be held accountable should you deviate from the path or overwork your headset. So now go and open up SideQuest and go to the search function and search for Oculus Migraine. Click Silo to download and install the app. If it doesn't show up in your unknown sources, then Silo and install the app again, followed by opening and closing the unknown sources window. Once it actually shows up in your unknown sources, open the Oculus Migraine app. You should first be greeted with this window. It'll ask you to close all other open windows so that you only have the Oculus Migraine window open. Now just saying, you could be a big brain and have this video open in YouTube while you're setting up the guide or while you're setting up the app and you can just follow along for a little extra guidance, but it's up to you. Click on the click here to continue sentence to move to the next page. There should now be a settings window that automatically opens. If it does not, then just click on the Android settings at the bottom of the Oculus Migraine window. As this is a high security section of your quest, it is automatically blacked out in the recording of this video. I don't know why it does it, but I'm just guessing it's because it is highly sensitive security stuff for your headset. So, down in the settings window and click on about headset. Scroll down to where it says build number and click on it about seven to 10 times or a cabajillion times as fast as you can. And if done correctly and quickly and sufficiently, it will say you are now a developer. Now click on the go back button and go to System, then Developer Options. This is an important part. You need to click on the words that say wireless debugging, not the toggle. Click on the actual words. In the next window, you can now click on the toggle beside Enable Wireless Debugging. If it's already turned on, just toggle it off and toggle it back on. 
You should be prompted with the USB debugging. Click on always allow on this network. Click on pair device. And then input the pairing code. Click on start pairing in the Oculus migraine window. Enter the pairing code displayed in your headset and click OK. Now enter the port number beside the IP address. If prompted, click on the always allow from this network option. When missing permissions pops up, just click on yes. Now open Oculus Migraine one more time and get access to all the sweet overclocking settings that Quest Games Optimize would give you access to. So, a bit of a breakdown, the main window will give you the ability to change the resolution and refresh frequency as well as reset to default settings. Also, you're able to change the fixed foveted rendering which is basically how much power is dedicated to rendering stuff in your peripheral vision. The higher the level, the more pixelated the peripherals will be. So it's good to have the power focus on where you're looking at and put more of the uh, juice that your quest has into your CPU and GPU. The recording window allows you to change the resolution, frame rate, and enable the secret both mode for side-by-side -side recording. What that means is that it will record the left eye and the right eye, have it tilted so that when you upload it to, say, YouTube, and you turn on side-by-side -side watching, it'll be a 3D with depth um, video. There's also the option for field of view cropping. Um, at some point, I'm going to make a video on how much of a difference that FOV changes, or if it actually makes a difference. But that's for another time. Tools and Miscellaneous are for more advanced users. It has built -in, a built-in file manager and managing ADB commands and installing APKs through ADB. So, if that sounds like gibberish to you, don't worry about it. Just leave it alone. Don't need to go there. But if you needed access to ADB commands or installing APKs through ADB, <laughs> this will give you access to that. Now remember, with great power comes great battery drain. And thanks for checking out the video. Like and comment to help the channel out. And Bearski out.